Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Again, we pre recorded. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm skiing. <laughs> and uh, this one is How to Tiana. And uh, a lot of people have asked about this. Let's start with This is my Tiana. She used to be attack runed, right? I'm gonna lead with that. She used to have attack uh, percentage here, but. I finally understood that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, she still does a lot of damage with her second skill if the enemy is speedy, and it like I tried her without the attack rune for a while. It was, she still works really well, so finally decided. Hell, I'll just give her a defense rune with the same speed. She it has one speed less, but if I get the four speed grindstone, she might get finally. The 14 speed to get back to her old, old speed but anyway uh, this is my Tiana as you can see 220 speed uh, as much resistance as, as I could get the reason I want resistance even though she has will is to try to um, uh, resist Orion's stuns <laughs> it happens more often than you think he, he removes will and then he stuns so, you know, resistance is not bad. Uh, you can definitely replace that with a second shield set. You can also ruin her swift. Now, basic premises of Tiana. You want will. You want will. Will is the number, like, even if you really, 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 really want will. Because she's not fast. And you want her to, and she can cleanse everything. If she gets a turn, she can reset the game and get you on the board to fight. And to do that, she needs to not be stunned or frozen or skill blocked or reset, you know? So you really, really, really want will on her. Whatever you put on her, the other four uh, rune slots can be whatever you want. The, the two of them have to be will. You can ruin a violent for like here. You can ruin a rage. Rage will though. <laughs> so, slot two almost always speed. Not almost always speed. You always want some, like it's easy to get speed from slot two. You will get it there. So put speed on it. There's not much to say other than that. Slot four. Now, slot four can be anything. Again, I wouldn't recommend crit rate or attack. Actually, I wouldn't mind attack. I would actually just not recommend crit rate. If you're gonna go crit damage, be careful. It's not a bad idea, especially if you use Charlotte lead like me and get lots of free crit. But if you're gonna go crit damage, remember that that's another stat. Crit rate is one more stat that you're gonna have to try to, you know, put in her, into her. Unless you only bother with speed and crit damage and, you know, crit rate. So you go full DPS, Tiana. Perfectly viable. I might try it someday as well. I did try it with. I did try it, but it didn't really work, so I went back to tank. But I, it, it, there were very good runes. I might, you know, try better runes. Uh, slot six, uh, exactly the same principles as slot uh, four apply. It's just that you don't have possibility of crit rate or crit damage. And if you put accuracy on Tiana, I'm gonna murder you. So just put HP, defense, or attack. So, also. Uh, if you have the resources, uh, max killer. It helps, like, especially in, in some matches where Chloe gets to Fnatic again. It has a similar cooldown to Fnatic, so you know you get to use it again as soon as she Fnatic, so you kill her easy, easier. This does more damage, um, and it's it's nice. You know, this one is the main reason why I uh, six starter it's a 45 percent activation no 55 percent activation chance but it activates more often than you think and with some accuracy the extra defense break can really help uh it really helps set up galleon sometimes you know to pull attack bar instead of having to defense break and hoping for a violent block or some violent block or something or if galleon is dead and you know she has to set up the team for at least one defense break yeah this this is a nice skill to have fully skilled so Let's go into the actual ma match. I know you guys have seen this a million times, and I know we're probably going to crash here. But, uh, 
I still want to talk about something that I've seen a lot on Reddit and I've seen it, a lot, uh, people have been asking me about it. So people have, have been saying, make your Tiana fast, but not too fast because you don't want to be faster than Chloe's. Bullshit. You don't care about Chloe. Simply, you, you just don't care. You don't build Tiana to counter Chloe. Let's let's get really get into this. You don't <laughs> you don't build Tiana to counter Chloe. What Tiana does is she prepares the game board for you with completely clean everything. She removes will runes, shield runes, buffs, everything. So even if she's not faster than Chloe, if your team is set up correctly. Chloe doesn't matter, like, she can get her turn if she wants, but she won't get it before your team because you have speed unit, right, right? So, it won't matter that Chloe is, uh, is slower than your Tiana. It really does not matter. So, yeah, don't, don't bother with that. Uh, that advice is useless. Make your Tiana as fast as possible. Uh... <laughs> And just outspeed it. Even if you use it as a Bernard, it's fine because Bernard cannot remove will runes. And if you're using Galleon, you probably want will runes removed. Or shield runes. Shield runes might, you know, make you lose because they, they don't. You don't do enough damage after. So yeah, make her as fast as you can. As you can. Uh, now the rest of the comp. How to tune it. See, even if she, if Chloe derps, I still use this to set up my, uh, I use it as a Bernard because Chloe burp, derp. Maybe she burped as well, I don't know. But she definitely derped, so... I use her as a setup, it's fine. Uh, so now let's go to the rest of the team, how to do this setup. The ADB to setup. So Tiana has a 30% attack bar boost. So that means you need to be 80% of her speed, at least 80%. So let's say my Tiana, the four speed buffs, etc., is 220 speed. That means you take 220, you multiply it by 0.8. There you go. You have the speed of your slowest monster. So I multiply it by 0.8. Let's see. So my slowest monster has to be 176 speed to be completely like outside of the range of a very fast of, of very fast other monsters that you know do not get interrupted. Uh, if it's even faster than that, that's actually good because Nemesis is a bitch, and not everyone has Charlotte to decrease the attack bar. I currently have still not fixed my Tesha, and he's at 173 not 176 so if charlotte wasn't reducing the attack bars uh i could have been getting uh interrupted or if people weren't that slow so thank you charlotte shout out you see charlotte is 183 i think so is galleon yeah so i could make these monsters faster but i don't have to like they never get interrupted so it doesn't matter they <laughs> They could, I could make them 210 two each. But, you know, why? What's the point? Why why waste those runes on these monsters when they work perfectly well without? So remember, 0.8, you multiply your Tiana speed by 0.8, and then you have the, the speed of your slowest monster. So let's say your Tiana is 220 speed, like mine, uh, and 176 is the slowest monster. You have anything, anything within this... Uh, gap that your monster speed can be right uh, another interesting uh, tidbit, tidbit, tidbit yeah okay is if you if you set up a team that has uh, two nukers galleon tiana remember that if you're having trouble with nemesis and you have a nuker that is capable of one-shotting the nemesis threats usually veramos or praha make that nuker faster so if you're running, uh, I don't know, uh, Teshar and uh, Alicia, and you're having trouble with Praha's ne on Nemesis, and you can't get, and you know Alicia goes, and then Praha on Nemesis heals the whole team. Switch the speeds. Have Alicia clean up 
and Tesher do his thing. So that Tesher one-shots the Veromos, and then you only have Praha to deal with if she wasn't much one-shotted by Tesher, which is very common. So, you know, he, Alicia can clean up afterwards. Or Julie, like, let's not go to Nat 5 immediately. Let's go Julie and uh, Akamamir, who's sort of a free Nat 5, right? So let's see Julie and Akamamir. Yeah, that's what you do. You would uh, put Akamamir first, so that he one-shots the Veramos, and then you go with Julie to clean up. So, yeah, I think that's about it for Tiana. I hope this helped. As a small recap, uh... Speed, speed on slot 2, we talked about the 4 and 6. Swift or broken or 2 sets. I wouldn't recommend broken sets, but it's still okay. As long as you have Will on her. She works on Guild Wars as well with uh, Galleon, Tiana, and then one Nuker. But that one Nuker has to have very high crit and be very reliable. Or be Zyros. <laughs> so that works too. And, uh, yeah, she, I wouldn't use her anywhere else. She's a straight-up PvP monster. But she's great at what she, at what she does. And, uh, yeah. Remember, Will Runes, 0.8 of her speed. Galleon works well, but she can work with Lucians as well. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope this How to Tiana helped. Uh, and, uh, I hope you get to, uh, one more come wing your enemies a bit faster now. If you have any questions, as usual, comments is where I am. I might be a bit late in replying because as I told you, I'm in vacation, but I will definitely reply eventually. Right? If I get when I get back, if I get back. But when I get back, I will answer everything if I haven't already while I'm up there. So thank you for watching and bye.